This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Banana Man by Tally Hall on the piano. So give you a preview before we start learning it. Here's the catchy tune. Check it out. Let's get right into it. So melody and chords, that's the foundation. And afterwards, you can add your own improvisations like that to make your own version. Let's jump right to it. Break up the lesson into four parts. It's easy to learn. First part, right hand starts on the A, middle C, go over an octave C. Just start on the A up here. So it's easier to press and not clash with the left hand. So A, F sharp up to B, F sharp, A, F sharp, B. That's it for the first part for the right hand. It's a seven notes. Let's learn it once again. So it goes A, F sharp up to B. F sharp, A, F sharp, up to B. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords. The two chords are D major, D, F sharp, A. So two of these D major chords. Okay, so the two ends together goes like this. It goes together. A and D major together. That's it for the first part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together. Together. That's it for the first part. All right, moving on to the second part. The second part. Right hand continues, goes A for a lot of A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven A's in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G sharp, G. That's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's learn it again. So it goes A, 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 G sharp, G. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords. The two chords are D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And the second chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with those two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. A D major starts off, right continues. Seventh A and A major together. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it again. It goes here. Together. That's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts I've learned so far will be played like this. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes G, E, A, E, G, E, A. That's it for the right hand for the third part, let's learn it once again. So it goes G, E, A, E, G, E, A. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords, two A major chords, which is A, C sharp, E, so two of them. All these two chords in mind, two hands together, goes like this, G and A major together, so together. G and A major together. That's it for the third part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together. Together. That's it for the third part. Back to back to three parts we've learned so far. We'll be playing like this. Moving on to the fourth and last part of this lesson. Right hand continues. Goes seven A's once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and G, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for this fourth part. One more time. So it goes A, 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 G, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords this time is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. And the second chord changed D major, D, F sharp, A. With those two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. A, um, okay, A major starts off by the left hand. Right hand continues. Seventh A and D major to get up. Let's learn it again. So it goes here. Let's get up. Like that, and that's it for the fourth part. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Repeat. There you go. 
So yeah, once you get the melody and chords of this all good, you can add your own improvisation to make it more exciting and your own version. Let's say you can do octave bass note arpeggios. You can do rhythm patterns. That kind of thing, okay? And right hand can harmonize it on the chords to make it thicker in texture, so it's more interesting. So you could be like... fun and yeah very catchy tune not difficult to learn if you learn this from these patterns and melody and chords all right so build your own version after you master the melody and chords and as for now if you want to learn your favorite tunes on this channel just search up your favorite song name followed by amos store in the youtube search to find those other lessons to learn but as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.